New this morning, an honor student, an honor rather, for a local student here in the DMV. She is competing on a national level to win more than $100,000 in the STEM competition. Now it's called the Thermo Fisher Scientific Junior Innovators Challenge. I'm excited to say that that student is joining me now. To tell us more about the competition. We're talking about Maddie Tenzi Ayala, one of 30 finalists in this competition. She is here now. She's a seventh grader at Kenmore Middle School in Arlington. Thank you for joining us. Well, I appreciate you joining us this morning. Now, uh, tell me a little bit about this, this competition. You're in the top 30 now, so, so t tell me a little bit about it. So it starts out with your school science fair, mm -hmm. and you have to win and progress to regional science fair. And then from that, you have to fill out an application with a lot of steps to uh -huh. get into the competition. Mm -hmm. So from there, they do the top 300 and then the top 30. Wow, that's important. Now tell me about your project. How does your how does your project go? What is your project about? So my project is the effects of seasonal variation on the kinematics of coronal mass ejections using the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory satellite. And my project looks at how coronal mass ejections, which are large outbursts of plasma from the sun's outermost layer, the corona, uh, change with the seasons. Wow. Okay. How did you get into all this? How did you wake up one day and say, "Okay, this is what I what I'm interested in. This is what what excites me." I've always been interested in space science. I it started from one book in, when I was eight, and from there it just expanded. So when science fair came around, I said, why don't I do a space science project? Hmm. How much, how much time did you have to put into this, to this project? Um, it took a couple of months, <laughs> mm -hmm. and most of it was actually the preparing and making the board and writing all the essays, not much the doing the project itself. Right, right. And you had to you fit all that. You were able to fit all that in with your other homework and your other schoolwork and your other stuff at school. Yeah. Uh, did did Dad help you at all? Yes, my dad's <laughs> a big inspiration for me. I got you. Okay, and you're an inspiration for some other kids as, as well. What's been the response from your your schoolmates? Uh, my schoolmates are really proud of me, and I'm so grateful with the support they've provided. I couldn't have done this without them. All right, and you know what? You 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 seem like a pretty good, pretty smart student. I mean, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be an astrophysicist, which is basically someone who studies the physics of space, and it's more theoretical. Okay. All right. All right. You want to? You, okay. And you again? You you start. This all started from books, from reading books when you were younger. Yes. Okay, all right. Anything else you want to say? We wish you luck in the competition. Anything else you want to, you want to say? Um, for everyone who wants to try a science fair project, just go ahead and do it. It's okay if you make mistakes because you learn from them, and that's how you get better. Wow, that's deep. You're, you're, very, you're pretty smart. Thank you. <laughs> she's, she's brilliant. Y'all yeah, hear that? Y'all hear that? Go ahead and try it. If you make I mistakes, your advice. it's okay. Yes, yeah. we're okay. so proud. Yes, yeah. we are, we are definitely go. proud, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank all right. You. All right. Well, well, thank you for coming in. And when you get to be an astrophysicist, you have to come back and visit us and we'll rewind this and say, we remember you back when. All right. Okay. Thank you for having me. Thank you. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Dad. Dad's over there.